GIF or GIF if you pronounce it GIF animations inside of Easy Animator Pro is really, really easy and it's a lot of fun. And one of the cool things about creating animations inside GIF animations, especially social media ones, is that you know you really don't have to be very elaborate. GIF animations are really just kind of designed to sort of sort of like waving your hand in the air to get people's attention. You know, you're just doing a little bit of an animation just to kind of get that extra attention grabbing kind of factor there. But the nice thing is is you also want it to just be standalone because especially on Pinterest, you know, it's static initially and it, it, it does do that on a lot of sites, also Facebook, for example. So you actually have to kind of click it in order to see the animation or at least roll over it in some cases. You know, so you want it to stand alone and you want the message to be not very busy. And so it that just all translates into something that it makes it easy, super fast to create and and a, and a lot of fun too. So you don't have to get very elaborate. So let me go ahead and show you just this example that I had here inside of Easy Animator Pro. This is just a little 10 tips. This might be me marketing some sort of uh, health oriented product or maybe my blog or something like that and just want to get some attention to it. And so um, I just created this little animation. I'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch. And just one thing you can do is you can select Command A or Control A. That'll select everything. I'm going to go ahead and go to the folder. This particular file is actually the design and I'll, I'll be talking about that in a second. I've got it here. I've, I've chosen this one because it's a little bit more complex. There's a little bit more to it, but I do have to kind of rearrange things a little bit, get things uh, kind of in the right order here. And there we go. So now I've got everything ready. And one of the cool things that you can do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on the state option and change the, the duration to about four seconds. That's a pretty decent loop. You don't want it to be too long. The longer it is, the bigger the file. So um, I'm going to go back to selected. And now I'm just going to go ahead and select the different pieces and just quickly get some animation going for this and I, I, the heart is obviously going to be heartbeat and I'll do maybe like a zoom in subtle for the EKG or the heart monitor and boom I'm ready to go that's it I can export this to GIF and I'm going to go ahead and do that i just go ahead and um, do that to my desktop here and you can see that it does take a little bit longer to create GIF animations so that's something that uh, you know we'll go ahead and let that uh, go it takes this will take about a minute or so but let's talk about how i set this up so what i like to do is i like to take my art and this 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 is from this is provided for you by the way it's on the the, the page if you're at anabits.com i'll have a link where you can download these pieces and i create this kind of design here's an, this is the design itself and what I basically do is I just put this together. You can do this in Gravit.io, which is free, or Inkscape, which is free. They also have layers. So you just kind of put your art in there. And if you're using the Anabits, you already have you know the art ready to go. This is back, a background pack that we have. Um, and you can just you know uh, assemble these, put in your text. Text is coming here in version 1.6 of Easy Animator Pro. Just basically, I put everything that I want to either animate or kind of be separate on its own layer. And then I just turn off the layers and export each piece as an SVG file. And then I import them into Easy Animator and it's really fast and easy. This took me maybe 10 minutes to create. Now I also want to point out a little something here. Let's go to one of the examples, that, another example that I've got here. Um, I'm going to select everything, Control A, remove. And let's import a different example here. I've got this one also in there. And it's a video's fast. And I only have two pieces in this particular case. And I've got the, notice I've got the arrow and it's not sizing perfectly. And what you need to do in this, if you want something to rotate, is in this case you don't want to kind of uh, export it with the layers like I was just talking about here by making things invisible and so forth. Instead what you want to do, if you want to have it rotate, you want to copy it to a new file and just kind of make the state size as small or big or as whatever as the uh, actual arrows itself. Export that out because what you really, or the point is, is you need to be able to have a center of rotation around the actual graphic. So uh, that's what I had to do in this particular case so that I can get this to do, like let's do a, a let's see, I think it's medium counterclockwise, it looks best. Um, and once again, I've got that kind of uh, taking a long, I mean, oh, it's only one second. So let's make that a four second loop so we get a little rotation going there. And so that's really the key. You want to get this just by itself. And so it rotates uh, alone by itself. And then you can export that out as a GIF. And that's how you can create GIF or GIF animations in Easy Animator Pro. Super fast and easy.